Hello, welcome to another Blender tutorial. Um, today we're going to be learning SSS, which is, I think, subsurface scattering. That's what it is. But first, I want to show you everybody this thing, cool thing I found. It's called Bump Top. Um, it's like for arranging your desktop. You can drag things around. You can have like these little stacks of icons and stuff. And junk like that, pretty much. But anyway. Let's get back to the tutorial. Um, go to your blender. Start. I have this default cube. You want to go ahead and delete that. Um, add, add mesh cylinder. Press three to go into side view. And press tab to go into edit mode. Press A to deselect everything. And hit B to, and you get this little thing with crosses, and you want to drag out and select the top. Move it up about that much, and like that to make kind of a candle shape. Ah. Um, but anyway, uh, press hold shift and use the middle mouse button to pan around. And the next thing you want to do is hit E, but don't and extrude it, but don't move your mouse when you extrude it, and just go ahead and select it. So then you hit scale, scale end of it, then you hit E, and you hit extrude it back down a little bit, so that way you have kind of this bowl shape in the top. That's going to be like where the wax is melted on the candle. This is not going to be a lit candle because I. For some reason, I cannot find a good fire tutorial. Um, but anyway, hold S or press S and scale this in a little bit so it's kind of more of a cone shape. And go to your camera, select all, and then press A to select all. You may have to press it twice to de first to deselect everything. Then move it down to about here. And go back to your side view, tab out of edit mode. So now you've got this. I'm going to add modifier and subsurf. And you set the levels to about two. Then we want to go back into edit mode and hit shift E. And that affects how the subsurf modifies the candle. Then we want to drag and we want to drag it so the edges are sharp but pretty sharp but still smooth. So about like that will work. See if we tab out of edit mode, it looks like this now. Go into our camera. Let's go ahead and render it. Render current frame. Ah, it's being mean. Let me go re-render. But as you kind of see, that's what it kind of looks like a little bit. Let's move the light a little bit over here. Go to shaded so you can see what it's going to look like. Anyway, let's go ahead and make a fuse, add mesh, cylinder, then S, scale it down really small, so that may we, we can make like a wick, or a fuse, or whatever you say. Three, go, go into side view, shift, scroll button, and pan. I'm going to go ahead and hit tab and scale it down even more. You don't really have to hit tab to do that. A to deselect everything. Hit B to drag that box around. Hold it up about that much. Control. Hold control and click. I got this tip from Hamster Hill. So go watch his tutorials. Um, control click here to make kind of a curved wick. Go ahead and tab out of edit mode. We're going to drag this so it goes into the thing. And let's go to our rotation modifier. Rotation modifier down here. Rotate my there. Control alt on. And rotate it so it looks kind of nice from our camera angle. Anyway, 
once we're out of that, we switch back to our translate manipulator, which is next to that. And then we're going to right click our candle part in the shading and add a new texture. Call it candle. Not snail, not candle. Candle. And change this to kind of a yellowy wax color. This is where the oh, um, before we even do that, we want to go to back to this editing tab and go down here and hit set smooth. So that way it looks nice and smooth. Go back to your shading tab. And if we go ahead and render this. It does not like to render for us. Anyway, let's go over to hit this four buttons thing and change it to a nice kind of gray background. As you can see if I get it to render nice. It's not liking me. Let's see. Never mind. Um, but anyway, I'll just put a um, render image at the end of the video or something like that whenever we finish this. Anyway, what you want to do now is go back to your normal material buttons tab. It says this tab is called SSS. Which thing this is subsurface scattering, and then you want to enable it. And you can just mess around with these values, but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit where it says custom and change it to skim milk because that works really good for this. Um, next thing we want to do is right click on the lake, add new, and we want to kind of change it to a really dark color. Name this one Wick. And the next thing in one of those shaders tab, and turn the specularity down because wicks are not shiny. You can see the glare when it goes down. Turn it down almost all the way. Probably about there it works. And as just ever so slightly shaded. Because if it's down all the way, it just is a black. It would just like a fake black thing. Anyway. Um, then you can go ahead and hit the render, current frame, and you'll see that it starts rendering it for us. Um, then if we X out of this, we can go File, Save Rendered Image. Let's go ahead and save the rendered image, and we'll look on my desktop. shall look for it and for some reason I cannot find it. Well oh, let's let's save it again. Say F3 to just do this. P oh no one even put a name on it. That's why that's why I'm not sitting on the desktop in the Then we're gonna just gonna go and type in candle. Then we go to pictures save jpeg then if we go to our pictures folder pictures you'll see that we have this nice candle with ever so, it's like kind of ever so slightly waxy kind of texture on it see how it how a light kind of shines like kind of go almost goes through a little bit like wax and that is the end of this SSS tutorial. But I'll go ahead and post a like a better picture of the rendered image at the end, which will be about now.